Hello magical butterflies. This is Xtina from Butterfly Intuition Divine Guidance. I hope you are having a magical day, night or afternoon. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. If you are interested in purchasing a guidance reading or a guidance session with me, they can be booked in my Etsy shop. The link to my Etsy shop along with my list of services is listed below. If you are interested in purchasing one of the decks I created or the Twin Flame Music deck I co-created with my soul sister, if you are in the United States, they can be purchased in my Etsy shop. If you are international, there is a special ordering link for you below. My links on how to connect with me outside of YouTube are listed below. If you like my channel and you want to support my channel, my Butterfly Gratitude donation links are listed below. This is going to be the Full Moon in Sagittarius collective reading. The Full Moon in Sagittarius is happening on May 26th, 2021 at 4.14 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Please look up the exact date and time the Full Moon in Sagittarius is happening if you live in a different time zone in the United States or a different part of the world than me. And it's also going to be a lunar eclipse. So the title for this video, Massive Changes Are Here. This full moon in Sagittarius lunar eclipse is bringing massive shifts and changes to the collective. So as a reminder, this is general. This is not going to resonate with everyone please use your own discernment when watching this video. Please only take the message or messages that speak directly to your soul and what doesn't speak to your soul, release it and let it fly. So are you ready? Is what I was hearing when I was preparing my outline for this reading. Spirit wants you to ask yourself, are you ready for these massive changes that are coming? Let me know in the comment section below if you're ready or you're not ready. Don't worry if you're not ready or maybe you're not sure. Hopefully there's something in this video that could help you. First, we're going to start with what is coming up for releasing and how to release it. So there's a very intense energy that has been going on and things may be coming up to the surface to help clear a karmic cycle. Now this could be energy that you thought you cleared and it's coming up again. So whether it's new, it's old, you thought you cleared it, or it's just repetitive, whatever's coming up to the surface is coming up for you to release it, to close the karmic cycle, to use this full moon in Sagittarius lunar eclipse energy to allow this change, this shift to occur. The deck I'm going to be using for what's coming up for releasing is Twin Flame Shadows by Mystic Moon and on how to release it, The Queen of the Moon Oracle by Stacey DeMarco. Disillusioned. So perhaps in the past your ego made you disillusioned about a person or a situation or just maybe your perception of yourself, what your thoughts, beliefs, and patterns were. Maybe you thought you needed to go in a, a specific direction. Maybe you were brought up where you have to have this type of job, you have to do this, go to college, you have to marry this type of person. And you always felt that you were living your life on someone else's expectations and you weren't living your life for yourself. So you were disillusioned in the sense that you were living your life based on what your parents were telling you, your elders, or just what your family dynamic is telling you. And I'm actually being shown the religious factors card in my third eye from the Romance Angels deck, meaning that you were just allowing your family upbringing, maybe your family culture, to dictate what it is that you need to do as far as your life. And... For others, if it's not that, just being disillusioned, allowing your ego to really make you think a love connection 
or a job situation or some type of relationship or some type of movement forward is not possible. So how you can release this disillusioned energy is to get into the hunter moon abundance. Now this card is 38, which equals an 11. And 11 is the number of new beginnings. It's time to harvest. It's time to connect with your spirit animals. It's time to connect to yourself, to use the magic of this full moon to bring this new beginning to you. Perhaps by the fall season, which is September through December, something will have shift or you will receive this abundance or this could be a special message. If you have a birthday in the fall season, Libra is coming through. So this could be a special message if you are Libra, sun, moon, rising. But this abundance is helping you see it's time to take your power back. 16, which equals a 7. And I'm hearing the month of July. So if the fall season doesn't resonate with you, perhaps July is when something is going to come into fruition. But use this full moon to take your power back, to take control of your life, to take the reins back. So you navigate where you go on your path. And the next thing that's coming up to be released is cold. So perhaps you're guarded. Perhaps you're very afraid to show your feelings. Maybe you were raised to be very rigid, very stoic, to not express feelings. Or maybe you deal with someone who has been in that energy. Whatever it is, this energy, this behavior is coming up to the surface to be released. Because in order to manifest and bring love into your life, you have to have the heart chakra open. You have to not be stone. You can't be rigid, you can't be cold, you have to be soft, you have to be open, and you have to be vulnerable. And the guidance is to have faith with the worm moon, number 31, which equals a four. So use this full moon energy to get into the empress energy, because that's what I'm seeing with the woman on this card, to have a rebirth, a new beginning, and to really just have faith that you can manifest love with another person, whether it's someone from the past you want to reconnect with, a brand new person, or deepen a love connection that you are currently in. You must have faith and you must believe. So perhaps releasing what keeps this energy of cold, releasing it and work on opening the heart. Disconnected is the next thing that needs to be released. I'm really just hearing disconnecting from your ego and making sure you're not disconnected from your intuition. Because being connected to your intuition is key because that is going to bring you peace. Number 28, which equals a 10, and 10s are about new cycles starting. You will find peace and you will see with this peace that things are going to blossom. Things are going to come into fruition things are going to bloom and with hunger you are going to find the strength to start this new beginning because 29 equals an 11 and this lunar eclipse is going to show you to be the wolf to get into the energy to be the hunter and to go after your prey and it is going to help bring balance into your life you will be able to find balance in every area of life you will start to see the lessons and why certain things happened the way they did. You will shift out of ego, you will shift into intuition, and you will begin to start a new cycle. So the full moon in Sagittarius lunar eclipse is really going to help you evolve. It's going to help you grow. It's going to help you move into a new cycle. But you just have to release what is keeping you stuck. So the full moon is always a great time to release what no longer serves you. There's so many different rituals that you can do on the full moon. You can look it up. The best thing to do, the most common thing to do is to write down what you want to release and then burn it in some type of burning bowl or fire pit outside. Do it safely, of course, because when you burn it, you put it out into the universe. 
and you dissolve that energy and you dissolve what is keeping you stuck. Next, I'm going to bring you guidance from spirit. So there'll be three guidance decks. So this is guidance advice, what you need to know, any action steps you may be guided to take to help you maneuver with the energy of the full moon in Sagittarius lunar eclipse. The three decks that I'm using for this is Magical Mermaids and Dolphins, the Moon Deck, and the Sacred Self-Care Oracle by Jill Pyle. So your first message is let yourself receive. Allow others to give you loving care. Receive without guilt or apologies. So the key to receiving is to let yourself receive. Don't block yourself from receiving. The way you would block yourself from receiving is to be attached to an outcome, a specific timeline, having expectations, trying to control a situation or a person, not being open to letting it come to you in divine timing, being focused on time, releasing what keeps you from allowing yourself to receive is key. And an affirmation you can say that can help you with this is it is safe and beautiful to express my sensuality. So get into the divine feminine energy because everyone has divine feminine energy. Get into the softer side. Connect with your softer side, with your feelings. And spend time with animals. 48, which equals a 12. Connect with your spirit guides your spirit totems. Your spirit guides are speaking to you through these spirit animals and they're bringing you the messages and advice and guidance that you need to know that is going to help you allow yourself to receive. You may be guided to rest or you may feel tired. You may feel depleted. You've been working hard. Take a nap and get some rest. So listen to your body if you need to take a pause, if you need to Put things on hold. Listen to your body. You are no good to anyone if you don't take care of yourself. And as you rest, you may be guided to celebrate your lineage and honor your ancestors and perhaps even connect with your ancestors. And this rest period is going to help you build strength. It's going to help you connect to your third eye chakra. So if your intuition is a little off, perhaps a guided meditation or just a meditation of the third eye chakra, using amethyst or wearing it can help heighten the intuition and get you to get into contact with your ancestors. And this period of rest is going to help you make a decision. Feeling stuck or indecisive? Listen to your intuition and make a decision. So connecting with your intuition is going to help you make a decision. And this decision, we are all sisters and reflect the divine in one another. So making this decision, maybe connecting with your soul tribe, and maybe you just need to write a gratitude list. You need to write down everything that you're grateful for. This card is 55, which equals a 10 and just writing a gratitude list is going to help you move forward and see the blessing in everything and what it's going to show you what soulmate relationship that new romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now so for a lot of you you are meant to come into a relationship with a soulmate or some type of d divine love soul connection if you resonate with a label or you do not it doesn't matter but this soulmate relationship is showing you that play is the pathway to joy so be in that playful flirty energy and if you get stressed out about love perhaps on this full moon take a bath soak in the bath or maybe you just need to do it in a shower if you don't like taking baths just make the bath or shower just catered. You can use crystals, bath salts, Epsom salts, shower melts, candles, crystals, whatever just speaks to you. Just make it something that's going to help you detox and soak and to help you release. 
And for a lot of you, you do have a helpful person around you. Someone wants to help you. Think of whom that might be and initiate contact. So if you have been thinking about working with an intuitive reader or a tarot reader, someone such as myself who w reads cards and, and does readings, or maybe more life coach or a healer, if you have been thinking about doing it, this is your sign to really just think about the direction of finding someone to help you. And it's going to really help you with love and intimacy flow into your life more effortlessly. Because this person who is waiting to help you can help you clear these blocks and to help you find peace. And you may need to just make a meal or really just change your eating habits. I feel for some of you, you have been guided to maybe change up your diet or your body is craving certain foods and maybe you're kind of doing it but you go back to old eating habits or um, comfort eating, stressful eating. Spirit is just saying to listen to your body because this card equals a five. 32 equals a five and fives are about change so there's something about eating, eating habits, just changing something to just really listen to your body. So I'm going to get into possible future energy. So this is possible future energy on what the future holds or what the future may hold when it comes to what massive change is coming after this full moon in Sagittarius. So I'm going to pull one card to bring forth the message. And if you're resonating with this and you would like to head over into the extended reading to get a more in-depth, detailed um, message on the possible future energy, the extended reading is available on my Patreon channel. My Patreon channel is a monthly subscription, so you can click the link below, take a look at the tier levels I offer, and maybe I will see you in the extended reading. If not, I thank you so much for being here, and I leave you with possible future energy. Now remember, this is possible future energy. It is not set in stone. It is what can happen, what may happen if you do your work follow your guidance and if dealing with another person if they do their work and follow their guidance and making free will decision because energy does change daily the devil energy is going to be shifted out of your connection your life and your existence because the devil energy is your ego handing you that forbidden fruit that apple that you know you shouldn't eat, that direction you shouldn't go. You are not going to be tempted by the forbidden fruit and to maybe even be tempted to go back to old habits because you're seeing you have to be the change that you seek. And these changes are here, but the key is to allow these changes to unfold, to come into fruition and to allow yourself to be vulnerable. See how she's naked on the card? She's just sitting there in her essence, in her beauty. Spirit is saying, get intimate with yourself. Get connected with yourself. Get connected with your intuition so you don't take the apple that you know looks beautiful on the outside but is not good on the inside. It's raw and it's, it's, it's sour. You want to know the difference between a good apple and a sour apple. So I thank you so much for watching this video. Maybe I will see you over in the extended reading. If not, I do hope this resonated with you. If it didn't, no worries. Hopefully I will tap into your energy in my next collective reading, or if you feel guided to, you can book a guidance reading or a guidance session with me. Have a magical full moon in Sagittarius. Love and light.